Hi there, let's look at another government intervention issue. This time we're going to focus on merit goods and evaluate the question whether local authorities should be increasing their funding of public libraries. This is a highly topical issue. Just a few weeks ago, Stephen Fry was quoted as saying that his experience of li libraries was life-saving. Uh, we know that many libraries are closing or having to merge in order to stay open. Uh, a survey out just a few weeks ago found that uh, library usage is declining quite sharply. Uh, in the year to September 2015, only one third of adults in the UK used the public library service, down by 30% from 10 years ago. The number of visits to public libraries in the UK is declining, as this chart shows, from over just over 5 million a week to only 4.5 million a week at the moment in the UK. And there's also been a decline in the number of public libraries uh, available for people, a decline of over 500 in, in the period shown by this chart. And uh, I think the decline has gathered pace in the last two or three years as well. Well, this is uh, why well, we're studying this topic, because I think libraries are a good example of, uh, of a merit good. Uh, a merit good is a good which tends to be under consumed by the free market. Uh, and uh, typically, although a value judgment is being made here, I must make that point, uh, what we regard as a merit good depends on our value judgments on normative economics. But uh, my own view is that libraries provide significant positive externalities, positive spillovers, in other words, external benefits, not just the people who use them, but to the wider community. And if it is a merit good, then uh, positive externalities cause the social benefit of consumption to be higher than the private benefit and that means that the social optimum in our diagram here, it's q2 is higher than the private optimum because of the external benefits now if the market ignores positive externalities then we suffer under consumption there's a deadweight loss of economic welfare and that is market failure so to what extent is under consumption of libraries a market failure is there some information failure at work as well is there a case for the government funding libraries more generously to increase usage, or can libraries find alternative means of surviving? We know that library usage in the UK has fallen quite dramatically, and certainly steadily over, the, over a number of years, and of course the accumulated effect is significant. Um, library usage has fallen quite, quite a lot, uh, and one well, thinks about the economic reasons for that, you get into some quite interesting related uh, interrelated markets. So some economists and some uh, social trends theorists point to the rise of e-books uh, as a substitute, of course, for going to the library and taking a book out. E-book prices, in some sense, have come down. Uh, the cost of e-readers, of course, has fallen, although you can make the case for saying that e-books themselves remain very expensive. And there's a, 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 there's a controversy in the United States about price fixing the e-book industry. I think another related factor is that supermarkets now increasingly are offering very cheap paperbacks printed on demand fairly low quality print as well and of course if paperbacks become cheaper in the supermarket and they're thrown into the basket and shopping trolley during the weekly shop that affects uh, potential uses of libraries. There's also a change in consumer tastes and preferences. I'm not sure if it's, it chimes with your own particular circumstance and experience but there seems to be a perception amongst many younger people that libraries are outdated. Uh, actually I just need to keep my voice down if that's the case that you, you go into a library and uh, it's a bit stuffy and a bit uh, old school. There's no question that uh, usage is uh, being affected by cuts in local authority spending. The question is, which comes first? Are libraries closing because fewer people are using them? Or are fewer people using libraries because libraries are closing? Uh, there's a two-way causation at work. Well, what are the merit goods? What are the external benefits? You might be asked to think about some of the externalities from public library use. And it's, uh, this is an area where you can focus on some key social as well as economic, economic aspects. So good libraries, well organised, well managed, uh, well financed, well resourced, can often become a community hub. And I think that's particularly the, uh, the case in terms of trying to alleviate and address the external costs, the social costs of loneliness, uh, particularly amongst the old. Uh, libraries can provide free access to knowledge and public information. So in that sense, although the resources are rival, hence a merit good. You could also argue that some of the resources, free Wi-Fi, for example, are public in nature, so the public good aspect of knowledge. Uh, good libraries that provide information about uh, local job opportunities and things uh, increase labour mobility. 
Uh, there are external benefits from just creating a hub and a space for people to meet and study and work and for ideas to mingle and, and be discussed. And there's quite strong evidence, by the way, that people in poorer communities are more likely to visit and use libraries, partly because, because they can't afford an e-reader or an e-book or to go and buy a hardback copy of a book. So one could make the case on grounds of equity that libraries are merit goods because uh, lower income households are probably on balance more likely to use the library and use it more frequently. And yet usage is falling. Now, is there a case for increased funding of libraries? Well, on the merit good issue, I think the argument would be yes. At least protecting the real value of funding is important. But of course, local authorities are under enormous pressure to cut their spending. So what about the alternatives? So you could argue in evaluation that libraries, although they are merit goods and although you can make a case for free access and free use of libraries, the libraries themselves may find effective approaches and solutions if the local authorities are cutting their funding. So, for example, libraries might, uh, might share digital network resources. In other words, they might try and achieve some economies of scale by joining up, for example, with local schools and colleges. Uh, maybe a local network provider could, uh, could be a partner of a joint ventureship. Libraries could, uh, could increase their demand, increase usage by investing in free Wi-Fi, by opening up coffee shops and things, by, by essentially trying to change the perception of the, of the library. Some people are suggesting there should be a national library card system. In much the same way that uh, gyms allow you to use, uh, if you have a membership card at a particular gym all across the country for your travelling, encourage people uh, to use libraries across the country when they're travelling or when they're on holiday, etc. A national library card scheme with some loyalty aspects to it perhaps. And I think crucially, libraries, not, if not reinventing themselves, they need to think about diversification. So there's some quite good examples on the internet. If you Google, you know, library fights closure well, community library beats the odds. You'll find some good examples. Uh, some libraries have turned their premises into community cinemas in the evening or debate chambers. Some have given over office and library space to councillors or created a little space for startups to come in and, uh, and work or artists to come in and work. The key is to maximise the use of the space and the resources and indeed change the opening hours perhaps to reflect the different uh, lifestyles that people have. So this is an important issue. Libraries are a merit good. There's some analysis. There's some analysis diagrams there. There's the economic costs and benefits of subsidy. But I think it's quite important to think about how libraries themselves can be proactive in addressing some of the funding issues they, they face. OK, so this was a, a quick revision video looking at merit goods with public libraries as a case study. Thank you.